Peggy 3. Hi there and welcome to the second in our series of videos taking you in depth with the game modes and features in Project Cars. Now, last time we looked at how you start your career. We signed our first contract, took a look at our career dashboard, and headed into the calendar to begin our season with a qualifying session at Hockenheim in the Formula A World Championship. So here we are on the Saturday before the main race tomorrow. We're in our pit garage, we've got a number of items available that'll help us get prepared to make the best possible impression on the driver and constructor standings, as well as with our new team boss and fans. From the pit box we can immediately see the status of the other drivers, whether they're in the pit lane or out on the track, timing info and also the current weather and upcoming forecast. If you want to check them out directly, we can use the monitor which lets us view any driver from either a series of onboard or broadcast cameras. You can also bring up the overhead track map, timings or vehicle telemetry, that we hope is going to give players some valuable insight into their competition whilst they're waiting for the perfect opportunity to attack the track. You can also create a tuning setup for this particular track. Now we'll be going into more detail on vehicle setups on our website with some answers to frequently asked questions, troubleshooting tips and ideal setups from leading members of the driver network community. So keep an eye out for that coming soon. The pit strategy manager allows you to create multiple profiles for different scenarios you may encounter. Various options are available here including ideal fuel refill, changing of tyres, compound and pressure, and fixing mechanical and aerodynamic damage. Once created, you can then select which is to be the active one in the race ahead, and of course, when you actually drive into the pit lane, you can select from any you've prepared in advance, or call an audible to your engineers on the fly. Whilst waiting for the perfect time to go out on the track, you can also review the motorsport rules and regulations, or even accelerate time until a suitable window presents itself. You'll also see there's the option to go to the online lobby, We'll talk more about that in a future video, but this is an in-game area for you to socialise with your fellow competitors in an online qualifying session, and vote to continue on to the next session. It looks like we're ready to go now, so let's head out. What we're aiming for here on this initial outlap is to warm up the tyres, get our first look in at the track, and head towards a start-finish straight at the end with as much speed to influence our qualifying lap. Once we're past this speed lifted pit straight, I'm then going to turn on the sector and lap comparison info in the top right hand corner, so we can monitor our current timings with our best in session. Whoops, looks like I broke a bit too late there, but lucky it was just the cone. So I'm going to shut up now whilst I concentrate and you can enjoy the remainder of this session.
hope you've enjoyed this look at qualifying and project cars. There are also practice and warm-up sessions available too, and stay tuned for the next in-depth feature where we'll be looking at the driver network.